I made it on. <laughs> we had some technical difficulties with the internet, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm happy that you have been patient for me to finally show up. So I don't know how this uh, Thanksgiving stuff ended up on my face. I mean, on my head. So let me see if I can take it off. Oh, made it on. So I would love for you to share with me what is your biggest takeaway from the call, from the wake up call. What are some revelations that maybe you've had that's like, oh, yeah, didn't really think about it like that. Um, or even share with me in the comments, you know, some of the things that you are grateful for, right? What do you have to give thanks for? Because I know that you have something. And once you start thinking about what that something is, then you'll think of more things. So really excited to see what you're going to say. And by the way, just um, a reminder that you want to go to MLSP.com slash Black Dash Friday and make sure that you get hold of those courses if you haven't gotten them already because they're very powerful and they are very useful you definitely want to get those as well so i'm not seeing any comments let me make sure i'm in the right place so just to recap <clears throat> over the notes lost my notes again <laughs> just to recap over the notes you know just like the song if i were to quote the song right here's a little song i wrote you might want to sing it note for note don't worry, be happy, right? Hey, Maria, happy Thanksgiving. Um, in every life we have some trouble, but when you worry, you make it double. Don't worry. Be happy. Y'all know the song. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, and you know, you also want to think about the fact that when you're facing some level of adversity, right? When you're facing some type of an issue or problem, that you remember that this is one thing, one time in one moment, right? And it's going to pass. It's going to go away. And then you will be able to face something new and different and exciting, you know, just like right now, right? Let me take this example of me not being able to get on this Facebook live this morning. <laughs> if I use that as an example, right? Um, I was flipping out at first because I'm like, dang it, I'm trying to get on. I kept pressing the button to go live and it kept telling me the internet's bad. And I'm like, I know it's not. Get me on here, right? So, you know, you have to like really think about, okay, well, I'm just thankful that I can get on. I have internet. I know that it works. And I also know there are solutions. There are workarounds. I can find a way to get on here. You know, I'll try this. And if that doesn't work, I'll try the next thing. And if that doesn't work, I'll try the next thing. But I'm not giving up, right? That is super important for you to focus on when you do have those troubles. And I got to tell you, me not being that technical of a person, like I don't claim to be a technical wizard, right? Um, that happens to me a lot. Doing videos, doing Facebook Lives, uh, editing videos, uploading videos, uh, creating webinars. When I'm out there and I'm doing those things, guess what? It is never perfect. It never goes exactly the way that I always wanted it to go and everybody loved it. It never goes like that because we're not perfect people. So there's no need to get out there in front of an audience and act like you're perfect and act like you know it all and act like you're, you know, you don't need to do those things, right? What allows you to have success is choosing your happiness. It is the most powerful vibration. It is the most powerful level of, of energy, happiness, joy, love, right? Those are the things that you want to start to emit. Because when you do that, people feel it. They don't just see it when they see you in the video. They feel it from you. It's a vibe, right? And you want to make sure that you're putting out the right vibes each and every day, whether you're doing a video or not. You could be putting out a post. You could be, you know, you could be um, writing a post, right? It could just be an image post, whatever it is. You want to make sure that you pour your heart into it, right? So really important. Okay, now recapping, understanding that worrying is actually meditation, right? You are meditating on something. You are thinking about something over and over again until it becomes a belief. When you worry, you are thinking about something and visualizing it. You're creating a mental movie in your mind 
where it becomes something that you believe is likely to happen. And that's why you're worried about it, right? That is that negative form of meditation. Now, why do a neg negative form of meditation when you can do a positive one, right? So typically when you think of the word meditation, well, I do, I think about positivity. I think about all the things and visualizing the things um, that I want to have and to do and to be, right? So that is always important as well. Um, and putting on your happy pants every day. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that I mentioned that and the fact that, you know, being happy, that is a state of being, right? Hey, Yolanda, what's going on? It's a state of being. It's not an emotion. Mm, you say I am happy, right? So when it comes to this, um, it's that energy. It's the energy that you emit right and the energy that you put out is the energy that you're going to attract to you so when you focus on happiness more people and things and circumstances and opportunities and events come your way to bring you more of that happy energy and to keep you in that state of being right but it's not going to happen for you if you are not consciously putting yourself in that position to be happy, right? Love it, Yolanda. Visual visualization is the key to move forward and manifest. Exactly, like attracts like. She know what to do. She know the deal. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. I didn't want to be on very long. I know it's the holidays. I know everybody's got to go back and cook and spend time with the family. I know that I do. So enjoy your Thanksgiving. And again, if you are watching the replay, make sure that you drop in the comments, you know, what it is that you're thankful for. What can you stop right now for a moment to be grateful about, even in the midst of pain or you know depression, sadness, those things you can break free of. You can break free of those things, but you have to consciously choose to do it. And it feels difficult at first because anything that's new is hard. <laughs> <laughs> if it's new, you've never done it before, you're not going to come out here and do it perfectly, but that's okay. You don't need to be perfect to get a result. That's the beautiful thing about creating more happiness in your life. And it's a beautiful thing about creating success in your business. You don't have to be perfect to get results. So I'm out of here. Have a happy Thanksgiving and I will see you in the next wake up call. Bye everybody.